What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass Ham, Mass Aquariums, a Monday night. Yes, I hope everybody had a great Easter weekend. Hope you had, all f had a bunch of fun, ate some ham, some lamb, some pork, some prime rib, whatever you guys were eating. Hope you had a good time with your family, had a few drinks, and uh, relaxed. I had to work today. I know today is like a banker's holiday or something, but I worked. But I'm doing some uh, tons of water changes tonight. Just did one on the 29, just did one on the African tank, my 20 long, I'm going to leave my 75 and I'm about to do one on the reef, so I figured I'd give you a quick update before I drain some water. Uh, the reef is doing great, it's some, I just threw some food in here to get these guys uh, going a little for you. They were swimming in front of the tank a little while ago, but the reef is great, the corals are awesome, the shrimp is doing awesome uh, my clowns are doing awesome my mandarin dragonette where are you I don't see you but he is also doing great I have recently got a few weeks ago I got an emerald crab to deal with some of this uh, green hair algae I don't have a whole lot of it um, it's not spreading like crazy but it is in a few spots he seems to eat it a little. I got a few, uh, I got two Mexican turbo snails. They could care less about it. Maybe they eat it at night. Uh, I don't know. But it's not spreading. It's been the same for a couple weeks. It's not like taking over the tank. It's just in a few spots and it is where it is. Maybe the turbo snails are eating it and the crab is, I seen him eat some stuff, but he's not eating like a couple of big pieces that I see. Uh, I am gonna try to do an experiment. I treat all freshwater algae if it ever gets out of control, like blackbeard algae. I treat it with hydrogen peroxide. It turns purple in a day or two, and then it disappears, and it doesn't come back. So, I am going to chip a piece of this rock off that has the green hair algae in it. I'm going to put it in a little dish with salt water, and I'm going to hit it with the hydrogen peroxide and see what happens. Maybe it'll kill it. Maybe it won't, uh, but I don't want to shoot the hydrogen peroxide in my saltwater tank in case the corals get messed up or the fish get messed up. You know, I just want to try it elsewhere before I squirt it in my tank. Anybody who has reefs, if this works, just like it does with freshwater, for freshwater, I just have it in a little spray bottle. And uh, whenever I do a water change, if there's any type of nuisance algae that just won't get, just won't go away. Mostly blackbeard algae. You just ch -ch -ch spray it on there and you're good to go. It literally turns purple or pink and disappears in a couple of days. Great, great, you know, last remedy solution. If uh, your tank's not balanced or you have an algae outbreak of some kind, spray it, it's gone. So that's the update on the reef. Everything's doing great. This is uh, week eight for the reef tank. Uh, corals are doing awesome. I'm loving all my corals. Uh, I'm hoping these zoas are gonna start taking over the tank. Uh, I've heard they spread really quickly. They open up every day, nice and beautiful. Uh, I haven't had any of them die, and it's been a few weeks, so I'm assuming they're doing good. Uh, all the water parameters are great. Phosphates are down, nitrates are down. Uh, you know, no ammonia. pH, I just tested everything, is at 8.2. My salinity is hovers around 1.024, uh, 1.025. If it ever, you know, I rarely, rarely have to even top off in this tank. My glass is completely covering the top, which prevents a lot of evap evaporation. I test my salinity every morning before work with my refractometer. Boom, look up at the light. 1.025, 1.024, 1.025, 1.024. I mean, it's just, it's really easy to take care of. Uh, surprisingly, maybe I'm just lucking out. Hopefully this green hair algae doesn't all of a sudden one night, it's just covering the whole tank because that would suck. So, enough rambling. I am bringing back ball busting. Uh, I've done 13 episodes and I'm gonna start doing some research so if you would like to volunteer if you don't know what it is go check out the series ball busting basically uh, I just poke fun at your channel and you get to do a revenge video and make fun of me super simple I have to make fun of different people you all get to make fun of me it's fun it gets you away from the fish keeping updates my tank is this my tank is that I have algae I don't have algae you get to have some real good fun with the fish keeping hobby 
hobby, excuse me, at my expense for the most part. So check out the ball busting series, watch a few videos. If you want to volunteer, leave me a comment in any one of my videos uh, or go check out Mass Aquarium's Facebook group. Join the group. Tons of great people. We're almost at 700 members, which is unbelievable. It's only been up for a few months, and uh, we got tons of great people in the group. Always commenting if you need any, if you have any questions. Uh, people will help you out because there's tons of knowledgeable people. Plants, cichlids, salt water, fresh water, the works. Everybody, you put post a comment or a question, somebody will know the answer to it. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to my local fish store, Oceans of Pets. That's where I get all of my fish and all of this pretty much whole tank. Uh, quick shout out to Exquisite Corals. That's where I've gotten all my corals, all my Zoas, all my Acans, my Galaxia, my Green Star Polyps, everything. All my corals. This comes from Exquisite Corals. I'm going to post a link all down below for all these places. So, that's it. That's my update. Ball busting coming back. Mass Aquarium's Facebook. Reef's doing great. And I'm out.